Leaf Comfort Enterprise is a, is a company that produces eco friendly shirts. Leaf Comfort Enterprise was established to adapt the way Malaysian wear to the weather in Malaysia. The idea to form a Leaf Comfort Enterprise came when the weather in Malaysia, which is not too cold and not too hot, has a lot of plants that live fresh and pleasing to the eye. Therefore, the idea arose to the name company with Leaf Comfort. As we know that, the people in Malaysia really need a shirt that can be adapted to the weather in Malaysia. Leaf Comfort Enterprise produce clothes that can be pro provide comfort to the wearer by adjusting the wearer's body temperature to the weather in Malaysia. The shirt designed by Leaf Comfort Enterprise is in the form of eco-friendly that use natural material to produce clothes that can provide comfort to the wearer in any weather in Malaysia. Among the materials used in shaping a comfortable fabric is tensile. Tensile yosel fibers are versatile and can be combined with a wide range of textile fibers. Unique, unique physical properties of tensile yosel fibers lead to their great strength. Efficient moisture, absorption, and gentleness to skin. The product unique and can be categorized as eco-friendly is because of the texture of, of the fabric that can give satisfaction to the wearer. This shirt is named Leaf because the beauty of the green trees give peace to those who see it and likewise if the wearer wears a shirt named Leaf give comfort to the wearer. For part 2, I want to present first section with a costing for material, labors, and overhead. Firstly, the material for making a t-shirt is fabric and sewing thread. Each t-shirt requires 4 meters of fabric and 2 rows of sewing thread. So after the calculating, the cost for make a t-shirt is 61 ringgit and 10 cents. We have decided to put the selling price of purchase is 139 ringgit after taking into account other expenses. Secondly, we have 10 employees to complete 800 t-shirts in a month. An employee is paid 8 ringgit per hour. The normal working day is 8 hours. For a month, one employee will work 160 hours. If they were over 10, they will be paid 6 ringgit per hour. The limit for employees making over 10 is in a month is 40 hours. Once calculated, the employee salary in a month is 1520 ringgit Malaysia. In our company, there are some overhead that need to be considered, including rent, supervisor wages, heat and light, wear and tear of machinery, and advertising. The overhead cost for a month is 13,500 ringgit. That's all for part 2. Leaf Comfort Enterprise use method of absorption using unit produced which is overhead are absorbed into cost units by sharing out overhead cost of a production department for the period in which the products or cost units are actually produced. Leaf Comfort Enterprise estimate to produce 800 units of t-shirt and standard overhead for your next month is estimate to be 9,500. So, the absorption of Leaf Comfort Enterprise is units of shirt produce observed 11 ringgit 88 cent of overheads. This Leaf Comfort Enterprise use activity based costing method whereby overhead costs are assigned to activities instead of assigning them to product and so. So, absorption costing use a simple formula to calculate overhead costs that can be assigned to the product and service based on the basic of absorption 
overheat rate on common basis of absorption is calculated to arrive at one amount of overhead charge while ABC use activities or cost driver to determine the cost of the cost object. Other than that, the cost behavior of absorption costing is not shown since the overheads are only linked to the cost centers. While ABC cost behavior is more realistic because the overheads are linked with the cost drivers. These two methods will use refer to the situation in leaf company enterprise. Okay, so let us move to the next part which is the cost volume profit analysis or we call it as CVP analysis. CVP analysis is a short-term decision-making tool. It assists managers to evaluate the impact of changes in cost, selling price and sales volume on future profit. Okay, the basic concept in CVP analysis can be divided into three which is the contribution margin, break-even point, and the safety margin. Computing break-even point can be divided into three, which is contribution margin method, equation method, and CVP graph method. The total contribution margin in RM for our company is RM62,320, and for contribution margin per unit is RM77.90. The BEP or break-even point in unit is 800 units, um, the break-even point in RM or sales value is RM111206.28. When we use the equation method, we obtain 800 units when profit is zero. Using CVP graph method, the intersection between the total sales and total cost line is the BEP, which is 800 units or RM111206.28. For safety margin, our company obtain RM27800 or 200 units if the budgeted sales is RM139,000 and the break-even sales is RM111,200. Okay, next is projection of income for the first year 12 month of operation. For the year ended 31st December 2020, cost of direct material for the year is 586560 while well, the cost of direct label per year is 182,400. Next, the manufacturing overhead cost for the year is 114,000. So, cost of goods manufacture is 882,960. In this year, our company managed to sell 9,300 units of our product. The total sales is RM 1,200,000. 92,700 so we didn't succeed to sell the 300 unit so the net profit that we get is 380,070 ringgit okay so we plan some marketing strategies to increase our sales per month to gain more profit first we create some special image for our product so we did some new image for our product such as make a character for our product and use some unique cartoon second we sponsor a big television shows. We also sponsor our product to a big television shows, such as Running Man, shows that are very popular in the world. Third, we fund artists or celebrities for the ambassador. Our company ambassador is popular celebrity, which is Selena Gomez. She is very influenced people in the world because she had more than 1.4 million followers in Instagram that meant she had many fans. Four, we held some public relation activities. In a month, we did one public activities like a make some donation to an openage. Besides that, we also do some campaign such as communal work in a mosque and any area. In conclusion, eco-friendly or environment-friendly is a marketing and sustainability word that refers to laws, goods and services, policies and guidelines claiming minimal, reduce or no damage upon the environment or ecosystems. It is good to see welcome modifications happening in our lifestyles and habits. It is our turn now to contribute to our earth by adopting measures of eco-friendly living and sustainable development. Eco-friendly behaviour will substantially improve natural environment around us and on the earth in the whole. The future is ours to make. We should not miss a chance to make a difference and begin with ourselves to change the world. That's all from us. Thank you.